Okay. How are you all feeling? Excited for the new year? <laughs> I'll let, let you all just get settled and into your, onto your mats. So uh, if you have a block, have it handy today. And um, I think we might start seated on it. So just have it sat like that. And then you can have your feet either side of the block. And you can sit your sitting bones onto the block, your feet either side. And as you know, if that's not comfortable for you, then you can always um, sit cross-legged and then change it as you need to. You can rest your hands on your thighs and just slide them up and down your thighs a few times. Just warming up the hands. And you can just draw some nice big circles of the shoulders. Good. Take the circles the other way. Take a breath in and lift the shoulders up to the ears. Open your mouth, exhale, let them drop. Again, breathing in, lift the shoulders up to the ears. And then breathing out, let them drop. Last time, breathing in, lift the shoulders up to the ears. Breathing out, let them drop. We'll let the right ear fall towards the right shoulder. And then actively press your left shoulder blade down the back. Just notice is there tightness there. Just see if you can let it relax and ease. Taking those full deep breaths in now through the nose and out through the nose. Now just letting the chin drop to the chest and the head then swings over towards the other side. And pressing the right shoulder blade down the back. Left ear towards the left shoulder. Nice slow deep breaths in and out through your nose. Awakening, getting ready. And then letting the chin drop to the chest. And we'll lift the head back up to the center. And just close your eyes for a moment. So after that short, sharp little breathing and moving, how does that feel so far? in your body and your mind. Now just take a little bit of time to bring more awareness, more connection to your breathing. Feeling the air drawing in through your nostrils and out through your nostrils. using the breath as that anchor onto which you will focus on. Increasing the breaths to four or five counts for that breath in and four or five counts for the breath out. breath, helping you to slip into almost like a meditation. And we'll move that into our, our moving meditation as we go through the class. Start to introduce the pauses in between the breaths. So you get to the top of the inhale and maybe hold the breath for two or three counts. Get to the bottom of the exhale, holding the breath out for two or three counts.
Just keep that rhythm flowing. And we're going to take the arms all the way up to the sky. And you're going to cross your right wrist in front of your left wrist and then bring your fingers to interlace. So we played with this yesterday in nurturing. Lift the arms up so they're in line with your ears and see if you can keep those wrists touching. And take a breath in, lift up tall, try and straighten your arms. And as you breathe out, bring your hands to your head, so your elbows, elbows bend. You should feel a slight um, awakening in the wrists. And then straighten your arms and see if you can get taller. And again, as you exhale, bring the hands towards the head, elbows bending. And then straightening the arms, see if you can get taller. So last time, as you exhale, bring the hands to the head, squeeze the elbows out to the side, try and lift the chest up, and then straighten the arms. So we're going to start to twist towards the left side. You can move your gaze as well, so gazing towards the left side of your mat. And then letting the hands go, take your right hand outside your left leg and left fingertips behind you. Breath in, belly expands, body expands. And breath out, let the left ear fall towards the left shoulder as the right shoulder blade falls down the back. Okay, bringing the head back to the centre and the body back to the centre. Do any shakings out that you need to do there. And then take the arms out to the side as you breathe in, lift your arms up. And then cross left wrist in front of right now, interlacing the hands the other way. Bringing your arms in line with your ears. Inhale, lift up taller. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, bring the hands to the head. Now keeping those fingers interlaced. And then straightening the arms, lift up even taller. And as you exhale, elbows bend. See if you can press the, the hands into the head. So it's the wrists coming in towards the head there. And then straighten and get taller. Last time as you exhale, bend the elbows. Notice where you feel it, drop the shoulders away from the ears. And then straightening the arms. So start to twist towards the right. Go as far as you can go and then move your gaze towards the right. And then opening the arms, taking the left hand outside of your right leg and your right fingertips behind you into this twist, really rooting down through your left sit bone. Okay, so right ear towards right shoulder, press the left shoulder blade down the back, breathing in. And breathing out. Bringing the head back to the center and then just floating towards the front, Inhale, lift yourself up tall, and then exhale, fold it forwards. So let your forehead rest on the floor. You can press your hands firmly into the mat so the arms are nice and straight. You're feeling the stretch all the way down through the chest, the armpits, and the sit bones pressing into your block. Take a breath in, try and lengthen your spine by creeping your fingers forwards. Also then feeling that stretch either side of your body. And breathing it. Just take a little walk with the hands over to the right hand side. Go as far over as you can, but always have the feeling of pushing your hips back into the block. Left hand on top of right hand, we're gonna lean and breathe into that left side. Yeah, so really thinking about Stretching out and releasing any tension that's there. Walking the hands over to the other side. Go as far over as you can again. Right hand on top of left hand if you feel like a little bit more stretch is going to work for you. Breathing in, inflating into the right side. Breathing in. Bringing the hands back to the center and then walking them back up. You're going to place them right um, by your shins or by your calves, fingers facing forwards, inhale. 
And as you exhale, push down into the hands, round into the back and bring your chin to your chest. So just getting that feeling there, the uh, rounding into your spine. So next time you breathe in, you're going to lengthen your spine straight and try and draw your chest forwards, getting a little arch in your lower back. Exhale, keep pushing into the hands, rounding into the back, chin to chest. You can take the block away if it's in the way. And then inhaling, drawing the head, chest forwards, trying to arch the back, trying to lift the chest up. Last time, we press away from the floor as you round into the back. Now press your feet into the floor and try and lift your knees up towards your chest. Squeeze the belly button back, just getting the core a little bit stronger. Lower the shins to the floor and lift the head, chest forwards, arch into your back. Last time like that, as you exhale, round into your back, chin to chest, and you push into your feet, just lift your knees up off the floor, the feet are on the floor. And then lower the shins down, draw the head, chest forwards. Okay, so you're going to take your block and come to seated on your heels. If this is not good for your knees, then sit cross-legged. Last little thing for the shoulders, catch hold of your block. Press your palms around the block and reach the arms forward. So you can do this without a block as well. So no block is fine. Take a breath in, lift up tall. As you breathe out, try and reach the fingers forwards, rounding into the upper back. Now lift the shoulders up towards the ears. And now push the shoulders back, keeping those arms straight. Drop the shoulders down. And then again, reach the arms forwards, round into the upper back. Lift the shoulders up. Are you pressing the block with your hands? Keep pressing it. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and then let them drop down. Last time, reach the hands forwards, round into the upper back. Lift the shoulders up. Press the shoulders back and then let the shoulders drop down. Go the other way. Shoulders push back. Lift them up. Draw them forwards and let them drop. Two more times, shoulders back, lift them up. Draw them forwards, let them drop. Last one, shoulders back. You should be feeling a little bit of fire there now. Lift them up, draw them forwards, let them drop. Good, so now just reach the fingers forwards, lift the arms up, keep squeezing the block with your hands and then bend your elbows and take the block behind your head. Push the head into the block and lift your chest up. Hopefully you're definitely feeling some fire in your shoulders now. Breathing in, try and squeeze your block with your hands. And breathing out, try and stay there, try and lift the elbows up. So if you are feeling tired in your arms, if you are feeling that heat, well done. <laughs> this is what we want. One more breath. And then release. <laughs> Pop the block to one side. Give those shoulders a little shake. They're nice and awake, right? <laughs> and then we'll come up onto all fours. Shaking all of that out with your cat pose. Let your belly sink. And then lift the head, chest up. And with the exhale, round into your back, chin to chest. Yeah, notice where there's tightness and stiffness. See if you can work your way through it. Just three or four more times, and I want you to play with it. So you can start to move through the hands a little bit, maybe start to move uh, from side to side a little bit. So just really exploring what movements do you need today? Where do you need to feel it? Can you kind of just improvise a little bit and explore? Where's the stiffness? Where's the tightness? What can you do to unlock that? Okay. And then coming to all fours, belly supporting the back now, so you're not dropped and you're not rounding. And you're going to bring your right heel into your bum. So just squeeze the right heel into your bum. Feel the hamstring there. Keeping the, the heel close to your bum, start to bring your right thigh up to your belly. So squeezing that all in nice and tight. And then sending the knee to the back and the heel to the bum, see how high you can lift the leg up, 
draw your chest forwards, try not to sink into your back. Keep lifting up. Good, lovely. Bringing the right thigh all the way back into the chest. Keep squeezing your heel into your bum. And then place your right foot next to your right thumb. Slide the left leg back, gingerly getting into the front of that left thigh. Start to rock forwards and back. Nice and easy, just playing with it, exploring. Getting a little bit of heat pumping around your body. And then we'll stay here for a little bit in the left uh, leg. And you draw your right toes up. Morning, right hamstring, inhale, chest to toes. Exhale and fold. Good, we're gonna stand back onto the right leg and then take your left foot over towards the left side, right hand inside the right foot, left fingers to the sky. Just enjoy that deep stretch there within the right hip. Breathing in, try and tuck your tail and take your left arm up and over your head. Feel that extension there all through the left side. We'll lower the left hand back down, return your left foot. Tuck in the back toes, lift the back knee and let the front foot move to the back. Just rock forwards and back a little bit so you start to feel the, the, uh, the heels, the ankles, Achilles, calves. Little circles through the fingertips. Circling the other way. We'll lower the knees to the floor. Come back onto all fours and we'll do a little cat cow just to shake all that out. The belly sinks, lift the head chest up, and then exhale, round into your back chin to chest. Okay, so coming back to neutral, start to bring your left heel into your bum. You can keep the knee on the floor, you're squeezing that heel in, feel the hamstring, and then bring the left thigh into your chest. Keep squeezing the heel into your, into your bum. Send the knee to the back now. You're trying to keep the heel squeezing into your bum as you lift the knee up. Hold it there. And then bring the thigh into your chest. Squeeze it in, but keep that heel squeezing around your bum. So if you've got a, wrap, um, a strap wrapped around the shin and the thigh. Pop the foot next to your left thumb. Yeah. Walk your right leg back and again, just rock forwards and back. I love movement as well as staying in the pose, it's good too, but I do love just to move, get everything pumping. And we can stay here on the right shin and start to draw your left toes up to the sky. Okay, and we'll stay here in stillness for a moment, just focusing on that left hamstring. Always seems to be the hardest muscle to get to. Take one more breath. And we'll stand back onto the left foot. Mm -hmm. Move your right foot towards the left side. And then bring left hand inside left foot, right fingers to the sky. Think about your left rib cage slotting over the uh, left leg and really feeling the chest twisting towards the right. You take your right arm up and over your head. Feel that lovely extension all through the right side. And then lowering the hand down to the floor. Take the left hand outside the left foot. Return your right leg. Lift your back knee up off the floor. And then take your front foot to the back. Mm -hmm. Little circles round uh, forwards and back in your plank pose. Core nice and strong. And then you get to do your first downward facing dog. So push through your feet and then lift the hips up nice and high. And you can paddle out the feet, do whatever you feel like you need to do here. And push down through your left foot as you lift your right leg up to the sky. And then bring your right knee into your nose, right foot next to your right thumb. Mm -hmm. 
Lower your left knee to the floor, release the left toes, and then lift your arms up to the sky. Cross your right hand in front of your left hand, interlace the fingers and draw your arms uh, either side of your ears. <laughs> Breathing in, lift up tall. Breathing out, let the elbows bend, bring the hands to the head, or the wrists to the head, and then straighten the arms. Okay, just uh, lean over towards the left side and breathe into your right side. Coming back to the center, lift up tall and then open up your arms as you twist towards the right. Take the left hand behind the, on the outer right leg and then just try and twist the chest towards the right side. Breathing in, reaching the right fingers to the back. Breathing out, lift the right arm up and over your head. Bring your chest towards the front of the mat. Hands come down. Tuck your back toes and we lift the back knee. Front foot moves to the back. Vinyasa, your first one. You can drop your knees or elbows, brush the rib cage as you lower down. Come through into that cobra upward facing dog. And then meet me in your downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out, you can wiggle and move, do whatever feels good. Push down to your right foot and lift the left leg up to the sky. Bring the left knee into your nose. You're going to slot the foot down inside the hands. Lower your right knee to the floor. Release the right toes and then lift your arms up. Come up into that little lunge. We take left hand and cross it in front of the right. Interlace the fingers, bring your arms either side of your ears. Inhale, lift up tall. As you exhale, bring the wrist to your, your head. Elbows bend, chest lifts. And then straighten the arms. You're going to lean over towards the left side, breathing into the right side. And coming back to the center, release your arms and start to twist towards the left. So yeah, right hand outside left leg and just reach those left fingertips behind you. Breathing in, that's it. And breathing out, twist. Take the left arm up and over your head and bring the hands down either side of the front foot. We'll lift up the back knee and then take your front foot to the back. Your second vinyasa, drop your knees if you want. Elbows brush the rib cage as you go down. Come through cobra up dog. And then meet me in your downward facing dog. Hold it there and just notice how do you feel? Where is the tension? Where is the tightness? Can you release it with the breath? Have you still got that nice steady rhythm with your breathing? So like we did earlier now on all fours, push down through your left foot and just bring your right heel into your bum. You're keeping your knees in line there. Have a quick peek if you need to. And then bring your right thigh into your chest, staying downward facing dog. Squeeze that right thigh into your chest. So now let the knees slide up towards the sky, the heel into the bum. And again, bring the right thigh into your chest, stay in down dog. Can you bring your shoulders over your hands and keep your right thigh close to your chest as you slot your foot next to your right thumb? <laughs> it's not so easy. Come up into a high lunge, lift the arms up. Cross your right wrist in front of the left, interlace the fingers, reach the arms up straight. And as you exhale, bend the back leg and bring your Fist your wrists to your head. Work on straightening the back leg as we straighten your arms. And then we'll lean over towards the right, breathe into the left. Oh, that feels good. Coming back to the center, release the hands, start to twist towards the right. Take your left hand outside your right leg and then reach your right fingers behind you. Right arm comes up and over your head. Hands come down either side, front foot. 
Now, keep your knee where it is, but just bring your heel into your bum if you can. And then shoot your foot to the back of the mat. Elbows brush the rib cage, take it down. Go through, cobra up dog, lift the chest up. And then meet me in your downward facing dog and just notice the energy in that right side. How does it all feel? Push down to your right foot and bring your left heel into your bum. But you're keeping your knees in line here. Now try and bring the left thigh to your belly. It's not easy. Stay in down dog. Squeeze the left thigh into the belly. Now follow the knee all the way to the back of the mat and up to the sky as the heel keeps kicking into your bum. Keep squeezing, activating that hamstring. And then bring the left thigh back into your chest, back into your belly. Stay in down dog for a moment. Now keep the thigh as close to your belly as you can as you take your shoulders over the hands, coming up onto the toes of the right foot. Keep squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And then slot the foot next to your left thumb. Yes, just moving a bit more mindfully. Come up into your high lunge. We'll cross left wrist in front of right. Interlace the fingers and reach your arms up over your head. Stick with it, guys. Breathing in, lift up tall. Breathing out, bend the elbows, bring the wrists to your head. And then straighten the arms, get tall. We're going to do that one more time, so I missed the, the, uh, the, the bend in the leg. So as you exhale, bend the back leg and bring your, el your, fist, your wrist to your head. I'll get my words out. And then straighten the arms as you straighten the back leg. Lean over towards the left, breathe through the right. My legs are feeling it. Coming back to the center, lift up tall, release the hands, take your right hand outside your left hand leg, and then twist towards the left. Reach through the left fingertips, breathing in. Let the breath help you stay calm. Good, guys. Left hand comes up and over, place the hands down either side, front foot. And then front foot to the back. Good morning, legs. Elbows brush the rib cage as you go down in your chaturanga. Through your cobra, upward facing dog. And then we meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath in through the nose. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Trying to lift the hips up nice and high. Good. So now swing your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Bring your right knee to your right elbow, shoulders over hands. And then swing it all the way back and open up the hip. And again, right knee to right elbow, shoulders over hands. And then take it all the way back, open up the hip. This time, right knee comes to right elbow. Hold it there, as close as you can get. Lower the right knee to the floor. And now lift the right knee up to your armpit. Lower the right knee to the floor. And then up towards your armpit. Last time, <laughs> lower the shin to the floor. And then lift it up to your armpit. Slot the foot inside your right hand. Ah, you all okay? <laughs> lower the back heel 45. Windmill left arm up and over your head. Come into warrior two shape. You might need to adjust your front foot. Breathe in. As you breathe out, reach the fingers away. Lift your arms up, cross right hand in front of the left. And straighten your arms, feel them either side of your ears. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up tall, keep the front leg bent. And then just lean to the back. Good, coming back to the center, release the hands, right hand comes down, big circle with the left arm up and over your head. Front foot to the back, find plank pose, vinyasa. Come through, cobra up dog, meet me in your downward facing dog. How's all that feeling? Breathing in and breathing out. 
nice and fluid now. Lift the left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up the head. Enjoy the stretch there. Left knee is going to come to left elbow, shoulders over hands. If you're feeling the fire, enjoy it. Take it all the way back and open up the head. And again, bring the left knee to your left elbow or as far forward as you can. Take it all the way back, open it up. All right, this time bring your left knee to your left elbow or as close as you can get it. Lower the left shin to the floor, you're not resting there. Lift up, knee to the armpit. Lower the shin to the floor, we've got this. Lift it up. Nice, last time, shin to the floor. Try and lift that knee up. I know it's creating a lot of fire. It's okay. Slot the foot inside the left hand. Well done. <laughs> Lower the back heel, 45. Windmill, right arm up and over your head. Find that warrior two shake. Give the shoulders a shake. Reach through the fingertips. Reaching the arms up. Cross your left wrist in front of your right. Interlace the fingers. Straighten the arms, lift up tall, bend the elbows, bring the hands to the head and bend deeper as you straighten your arms, getting taller. You're going to lean towards the back, breathing into the left side. Good, and then coming back to the centre, releasing the hands, left hand comes down, big circle, right arm up and over. Front foot to the back into your plank pose. Vinyasa your way. Nice and strong. Don't let those shoulders drop below the elbows. Keep your core engaged. Keep everything nice and strong. Breath in. And breath out. Lift the hips up super high. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees, relax your head, hold on to opposite elbows and just sway from side to side. So letting go of any tension you've been holding on to there. It's not so easy, all that stuff. So well done, you're still here. You want to take the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, draw your shoulders back, straighten the arms and then just let the arms come up and over your head. Let's we'll see where you get to here. Just be mindful, not overstretching, just listening. Releasing the hands, taking them to the floor, and then starting to walk your hands back out into your plank pose. All right then, so bring your right knee into your nose, stay in plank. Take it back, bring your left knee into your nose, stay in plank. Take it back, right knee in. Take it back, left knee in. Take it back, right knee in. Keep it going guys, stay with me. Left knee in. Two more, right knee in. Take it back, left knee in. Take it back, good. Right knee into nose, right foot inside, right thumb. Woo! <laughs> Come up, high lunge. Drop the back heel, find your warrior two. Flip the front palm, reach it forwards, take it back, breathe into the right side. Straighten your front leg now, come into warrior uh, triangle pose. Right hand onto your right shin, left fingers to the sky. Nice, now, you know the triangle, we want both sides of the body equal. This is our aim. So if that means having your hands on your shins to do that, then it's fine. Yeah. Left arm up and over your head. Just for an extra little bit of fire, draw your belly button back and lift your right arm up to meet your left arm. Look down, bend your front knee, come back, warrior two. Good, right hand comes down. Big circle, left arm up and over head. Take the front foot to the back, find your plank. Just for fun, because it is New Year's Eve, keep your bum low, walk your feet in between your hands. You might not get all the way to the hands, just get as far as you can. Keep that bum nice and low though, and then walk the feet all the way back. 
Isn't it fun? <laughs> Help us brush the rib cage. Come through Cobra, up dog. And then meet me in your downward facing dog. Hold it there, big breath in. Long breath out. Stay with me guys, come up high onto your toes. Roll yourself forwards, plank pose. Bring your left knee into your nose, stay in plank. Take it back, right knee into nose. Take it back, left knee into nose. Take it back, right knee into nose. Take it back, two more each side. One, two, last one, and two. Good, bring your left knee into your nose. Try and pop the foot inside the left hand. Ah, oh, such a relief. <laughs> Come up into your high lunge, lift your arms up. And then round the back heel, find your warrior two shape. Flip the front palm, reach it forward, take it back, breathe into the left side. And then straighten the, the front leg, squeeze the fingers to the back of the mat. Lifting up and over into triangle. Now, I recommend left hand on shin and try and get both sides of the body long. Right arm up and over your head. Squeeze your legs towards each other. Bring your left arm up to meet your right. Very strong here. And then bend your front knee. Come back, warrior two. Left hand comes down. Big circle, right arm up and over. From foot to the back, find your plank and your vinyasa. You can always skip it. Yeah, you know the drill. Downward facing dog. Hold it there, breath in. Open breath, exhale, let it go. This time, walk your feet to your hands. We're nearly there, guys. Have a, a little space in between your feet. Yeah, so toes forward, heels back, and a slight uh, space in between your feet. Relax your head. You can hold on to opposite elbows for a moment and sway. Just let all of that stretch out. Yeah, bend your knees a lot, a lot, a lot. Take your arm in between your legs, your right arm in between your legs, and then try and take your right arm outside of your right uh, leg. Try and turn the right palm uh, so it goes upwards and now you've got the back of the hand resting on the outer right thigh. Take your left arm behind your back. Now if you've got a strap you can hold on to a strap or maybe you can hold on to your fingers. You just try and relax your head, work on straightening your legs. Obviously this right leg isn't going to straighten completely. We're just going to play with it and see where we can go with it. Feel all the blood flowing into your head. Yeah, and don't worry if you haven't caught the hands, that's what's coming next year. <laughs> Release. <sighs> Inhale, take a halfway lift, let all the blood flow back the right way. And then exhale and fold. Take the left arm inside your legs, and we're going to take down the left hand or left arm to the outer left leg. You know, Rotate the arm in the shoulder to bring the left hand uh, on the side of the left leg. Right arm can go behind your back. Now you might want to hold on to a strap or a tea towel. Maybe you catch hold of your fingers. And now just take your time, slowly work on straightening the legs. You might want to turn your chest towards the right as you pull on the right hand with your left hand or pull on the strap. Just letting everything melt. Everything melt like butter. Legs gradually straightening. Maybe not. It's all about where you're at right now. And release. Good. Uh, heel to your feet a little bit further apart. And then bend your knees and sit your hips down. Take your elbows into your knees, press your palms together, find your nice malasana. You can always sit on your block here if you want to. Sit, lift up through the crown. 
Feeling all that energy, feeling all the air, blood flow back the right way. Placing the hands on the floor, and you know, you can stay sat on your block if you want to here. Your palms are flat, and you're pushing your knees into your arms. So do that for a moment, just squeezing those knees into the arms. Just like this, squeezing them in. Yeah. And then you're going to push the arms out into the legs. Yeah. Now do it equally. So you're pushing arms in and pushing legs out. Sorry, legs in and arms out equally. So you rest onto the fingers and lift your bum up. And keep pushing knees in and keep pushing arms out. Look forwards, look forwards, look forwards. Can you hover one foot off the floor? Put it back down. Can you hover the left foot off the floor? Could you hover both feet off the floor just by accident without thinking about it? Stay there, squeeze the arms out and squeeze the legs in. Breathe in. Breathe out, return back. Yes, bring your palms together, elbows into the knees, lift the head, chest up. Breathing in, out up, and breathing out. Did we have success? Try it one more time. So if you manage to get both feet off the floor, do this next thing, okay? So you might come back to where we was, palms flat, knees into elbows, out to elbows, elbows into knees, okay? Or you're going a little bit further, bring your hands closer together and just behind your toes, have your knees nice and bent, belly on the thighs, come up high into your toes and rest your knees on the backs of your arms, close to your armpits where we were earlier. Rest into the hands, take the chest forward, squeeze the right heel into your bum. Maybe the left heel comes as well, yeah? So not crow into your crane. And if we're happy here in the Vakasana, and now crow, squeezing those elbows out and those knees in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, come back and sit back into your Malasana and elegantly then sit your bum onto the mat. Somehow, and extend your legs out in front. Good. Push your fingertips, lift yourself up nice and tall, and then exhale, just fall forwards. See where you want to go to. You have a bend in your knees if you need it. Turn your fingers to face the back. Mm -hmm. Keep drawing your shoulders down the back, and then fold it forwards. We're nearly there, but hang tight. Stay focused, stay present. It's only me who feels like a rocket ship in this shape. I think it might only be me. Good, now let the hands sweep towards the front of the mat. Start to round into your back, point, point your toes, and then slowly start to lower down onto the mat. Once your uh, shoulder blades hit the floor, lift your legs up and over your head. Come into happy baby or into your plow pose. Yes, yeah, so you can have your hands supporting your back, your toes resting on the floor. Let your knees rest down either side of your face. And wherever you are, try and relax. Arms flat, start to lower the spine down. And then bend the knees, bring your feet flat onto the floor. Have your heels quite close to your bum. Press your palms flat onto the floor, inhale. Exhale, push your feet and then lift the hips up. So feeling the, the stretch the other direction. We did a lot of this hip flexor strengthening work and core work, so this is a nice one to do just to counterpose that. If you've got your block handy, then you're going to slide it underneath your sacrum and you can just rest the sacrum on the block. If not, you can lower down and then lift yourself right back up. Breathing in and breathing in. So with your, your sacrum rested on the block, 
try it and squeeze your right heel into your bum. Yes, yeah, so you're lifting your foot off the floor and try and squeeze the right heel into the bum. That might be enough for you there. Otherwise, you're going to catch hold of the front of the right foot with the right hand and try and drop the knee down as you slide the foot towards the right armpit. And that's it. And you can try this without the block if, if um, you're strong through the uh, left leg. And then release. Okay, and if it's too hard without the block, then you can always just um, come up and down. Yeah, that's a good way as well to strengthen and, and, and stretch. So then same with the left leg, bringing your heel into your bum, trying to kick the heel into the bum, feel the hamstring like you have been doing. And then catching hold of the front of the left foot if you can with the left hand and trying to slide the foot towards the armpit, lowering the shin towards the floor. And you know, it might not get there, you know, it's, it might be too much of a stretch for the foot. You do it, explore it, see where you're at now. This is a, a good marker, a good day to see where you're at now. New Year's Eve, this is where you're at now. We'll do more of that on Saturday. And then releasing the foot. If you haven't already, lift your hips up. And then lower the spine down, vertebra by vertebra. Good. And then we can all bring the knees into the chest. Give them a nice little hug in. Rock a little bit from side to side. Last twist, let both knees fall to the right. Look at your left hand, we'll take a breath in through the nose. And breath out through the nose. Good, bring the knees back into the center, let them fall to the other side. You did it guys, the last class of 2020. Breathing in. And breathing in. Bring your knees back into the center and then roll up to seated. And sit however is comfortable and maybe Sukhasana one foot in front of the other. You can sit on your block if you want. Rest your hands on your thighs. Good. Lift up tall, let your eyes close. Take a breath in through the nose all together. Hold your breath at the top. Just imagine any stress, any tension from the air. We're going to let it out with the exhale. So you want to exhale as completely as you can. So open mouth, exhale, let it go. And again, big breath in. And with the breath in, sucking in all that positivity all that energy, holding the breath at the top. Anything you don't want to take with you into the new year, let it go with the exhale. So open mouth and exhale. So keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Breath in. Last time like that, so exhale much more than you think you can. Breathing in, holding the breath at the top. And open mouth and exhale, keep exhaling, keep exhaling, 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 just emptying out as much as you can. And then breath in. Just breathe in and out to your nose, normally, naturally. Feel your sitting bones rooting into the floor. So that stable contact for you. Feel the spine nice and long, shoulders away from the ears. Enjoying this little bit of quiet after the storm. And 
and bringing your hands to the heart center, thumbs push into your chest bone. So looking forward with anticipation to whatever the year brings. And a huge thank you to all of you for being with me all of this year, helping me through this very strange time. Have a beautiful New Year's Eve celebration, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Have a beautiful day, guys. <clears throat>